What's going on YouTube? We are back today in Madden 16 Ultimate Team and today we have a gameplay week two. We haven't played that much. Uh, let's get right into it. This guy has a pretty good team, pretty solid team. His uh, quarterback is John Elway, not the best quarterback in the game. Very similar to my team defensively, offensively. He might, probably has like a 88, 89 overall team. Just had that t new uh, Todd Gurley that came out a couple of weeks ago. And uh, he liked uh, right there. We got pick balls off. Got to pick them off. Get hands on balls multiple times on this drive. And we just drop them right here once again. Go up. Can't catch the ball. We just slap, just slap it. Fourth and ten now. He decides to go for it. Should have gone cover four. I went man to man because he was running a lot of four verts. I don't know why people why uh, so many people love running four verts but uh it's one of those guys and right here he makes a big mistake throws a pick right here to smith and we just could take that knee and get it out on the 20 and not risk taking it out possibly fumbling and then get worse field position if uh even if we bring it out and don't fumble so second and eight we do our favorite play right there the two drags get a Big chunk of yards right here. We give to McCoy. Get some pancakes out there. Get that. I don't know what the heck he was doing with his users, but uh, we get to the outside. Then get all the way to the 20. Then very next play, we get it back to Shady, and he is in the end zone. We go up seven nothing very early in this game. Actually, no, I think we're in the second quarter now, so it's not that early. It feels early, but uh, right there once again, Bud Dupree gets hands on balls. Can't uh, do anything about it. Uh, right there, I can't, True Front has 91 speed, which I thought he could keep up with anyone, but this game really showed that he, he and Bud, for some reason, when they do that underneath route for Verts, they cannot cover that for some reason, it's so stupid, four Verts are just so glitchy, they're just, you're running back, your guys can't cover their running back for some reason this game wins man to man, they can't. Just can't stick with them for some reason. And then that vert that goes up and then cuts in, the defender usually goes dumb on that too. So for some reason they can't cover very well four verts and right there. That's a good pass. He uh, uh, goes for two misses, but he does go for two later on in the game. And we'll see if he makes that one or not. But I don't know why he went for two. It's early in the game. Maybe you want to get a one-point lead, but instead he's down by one, which is huge right now since we're in the third quarter, running the ball well, moving the ball, take it to the fourth, and now second and nine. This is the dumbest play call. I should not have Hidnoski in there. I didn't know that he was in this formation. I thought it would be like uh, D'Angelo Williams, and I should have called timeout, but instead I double juke right into a fumble, hit stick, fumble be uh, more accurate so he's the ball back we don't get any points we were down in the red zone we fumble and right here that's what I'm talking about Chung he had position he was perfect and then he just stops and lets the guy cut it's like they programmed him to stop when the guy cuts so he gets open and right here I just don't have the speed to get keep up with uh, whoever that was right there so second and goal here he ends up calling a couple of drags right there, and he's in the end zone. And he takes a 14 to 7 lead because he went for two and made it. But we have a lot of time left, three timeouts. Throw a good pass right there to Thomas. Let's hurry it up. If he's going to stay in that defense, right here he presses Thomas, and that's not going to work ever. You can't really press in this game. And right here, I was a little upset how Thomas took this route. He didn't cut it as sharply as he usually does. I don't know if it's because the user coverage, but whatever it is, where he still catches the ball, we're in the end zone. It was a tighter throw than I wanted it to be. But it's 14 to 14. Very, and we go into OT. Very first play of OT. He goes to bat. If you go back earlier to that play that we got hands on balls, this time we actually grasp the ball and take it for a pick six to uh, walk off pick six. And we get the win. So finally, on that play, instead of slapping it, we actually grasp it, hold on to it, and take it for six. And we end up winning this game 20 to 14 in OT. I'll take it. And uh, we're 2 0 on the season. I gotta start playing more of these games. I've been playing so many solo challenges that I've been uh, doing other stuff. 
So this probably, depending on when uh, Team of the Year comes out, if it comes out this weekend or this week, I've, I've, it's got to come out soon. But uh, I'll probably do a pack opening them because I got a lot of, uh, got about 10 packs sitting in the, just sitting waiting for something to come out. Don't want to really open up for these uh, players that are out right now because none of them are really that great other than the Jordy Nelson and still, eh, it's only one him. And that's going to be it for this video guys. Like, subscribe, comment, share. I am out till next time as always. Do work.